Welcome to all my dear student in this computer lecture. This is a computer lecture for standard 4th and today's our topic is the function of computer that is your second lesson from your computer textbook. So before starting our lecture I hope you all are fine at your home. Take care of yourself, stay home and stay safe and also saying that wash your hand continuously, cover your mouth with the mask and avoid the close contact with anyone who has a cold or flu like symptoms. So before starting our lecture, in the, in the previous lecture what we study, let see that. The first topic in the previous lecture that we study input devices, second is the output devices and the filling the blanks. Yes, these three points we learned in the previous lecture. So let us understand the first term that in the first lecture I should explain this input processing and output. So this input processing and output which is the functions of computer, right? Which is the functions of a computer, input, processing and output. These three are the main function of a computer. Without these functions, computer cannot work. So these three functions are doing the computer tasks, writing, drawing, whatever you want to do, perform any work, any task in the computer. With these three functions, we can perform it. The first one is the input. This is the three text area that I am showing here it, it shows the example food grain example that we take in the previous lecture right you remember that the fruit grain I am showing the one machine of a uh, uh, floor uh, greens so let understand the input what I am writing here the floor grains means what a floor it is a input and whenever we put into the machine, the processing, processing means what? A grinding, grinding, crushing. It is the processing, right? In the machine, the grinding is the processing. And the output means the floor come out from the machine. You can see, you can remind that machine that we are entering the floor and the processing, the grinding and the output, the floor come out. So same is in the computer. See, input, which means what? Data entered into a computer. What? A data entered into a computer, which means, for example, I have to return some number. So, I am pressing the keyboard key 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, this, I am pressing this key. It is the data entered into a computer. So, we call them input. So, we call them input. Now, the second, the processing which a processing which means what working on the input working on the input which means what i am pressing the one two three four five six seven eight nine numbers from the keyboard right so it is our input but they get, go into a cpu what i am saying they go into a cpu and cpu can make some processing in it and convert into the computer understanding language so computer can understand what we pressing the keys so this is a processing the processing is done by the cpu what a cpu now see the output the third function information given out what i am writing here information given out the output means what display on the monitor screen what display on monitor screen we are pressing just three, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 numbers and the CPU process it and the monitor screen display this number just we are pressing these keys. So it is the simple you can understand these three terms the functions of the computer input processing and output. Listen you have to understand clearly because in this next slide we have playing the input devices and output devices. So you have to understand input output and the processing if you are understanding that then you can understanding the input devices also so the input is the data entered into a computer processing which means the working on the input and the output means the information given out we are pressing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 numbers it is our input and cpu process it and the monitor display the output what monitor display the 
output. So these are the term that the functions of a computer main which three functions input processing and output these are the main functions of a computer right now see the input devices which input devices so let's start the input devices in the previous lecture i am saying that we have to enter some numbers we have to enter some letters we are drawing something we have to enter some voice video clip so this all thing we entered into a computer so what we said that input device what we said sorry it called input right the input and we have some devices to input their data so first two main devices here i am showing that the keyboard and the mouse these are the two main input devices to enter the data into the computer keyboard are keyboard are used to writing and the mouse are used to drawing the mouse has a category also a wireless and the wired mouse yes you know that the input device is the most input device is, is used to keyboard and the mouse so mouse have a two category wired and wireless and mouse what the use of mouse to pointing some specific area right and it's have a one two and three button left right left right yes we use this two buttons mostly left right left click right click double click and the drag and drop these are the clicking of the mouse yes you know that we have to drag so you have drag the mouse you can see this pictures also now see the keyboard the next input device is it has so many keys on it and it's look like a typewriter right it's look like a typewriter so the keyboard is used to enter numbers letters special symbols right see here a qwerty keyboard now next input device is stylus it is a just a pad or pen we are using the pen to writing in the pad tab and pen whatever we are drawing we are writing it shows on the computer so stylus is a one kind of input device see here i am display some the lion picture scanner the next input device is it is used to scan a pictures a text whatever we writing in the our textbook our notebook it's also scan and stored in the computer and it see here a lady scan the book in the computer you can see here the machine track ball it is the same as the mouse but what is the difference in the top they have a ball you can see that the ball we are rolling this ball and the mouse pointer is also move on the monitor screen so trackball is a mostly used in the laptop device understand now microphones you can see this microphone it is used to input the voice yes it record our voice you can see in our computer uh, lab also and school also joystick it is a one kind of input device used in the play, play games right we are playing the games with this joystick to move our a pointer digital web camera it is a one kind of input device to capture our images our videos right our voice so it is also a one kind of input devices so these all are the different different input devices that we learn in the previous lecture but the mostly used the input devices is what a mouse and a keyboard what a mouse and a keyboard these are the main useful devices so now study the next output devices let's start the output devices we have just see this because we learn in the previous lecture already so the input device is used to enter the input now the output device is what to display the output for that we have already some devices to display this is a monitor you can see in the monitor screen it is a one kind of output devices why we call them output devices because they display the output on the screen right 
another is a printer so mostly used a monitor and printer are the output devices that are mostly used monitor display a output on the screen you can see it in the computer lab so the monitor is the output device and the printer now see the monitor it's it's a, it's a look like a same tv yes so we call them a tv also and the monitor also they display the numbers special symbols drawing voice playing a games see here the one button you can see it. <clears throat> this button is for on and off a monitor in the tv we also have if we on then computer will be on if we amber light on then it is off so we can on and off using this button right so this button is in monitor screen at the bottom of the right side corner so this is the one kind of output device and it is the main output device monitor you can see this the screen it is a desktop screen now see the type of the monitor crt monitor crt means what cathode ray tube that i am saying in the previous lecture also cathode ray tube this is the type of the computer old type of computer and it shows the color drawing picture and the photograph what they showing color drawing pictures and photograph in our school right now crt monitor is not available we have a lcd monitor we have lcd monitor liquid crystal diode what liquid crystal diode this is the lcd tv or monitor it is the new generation of a computer right now we use this type of computer in our school in our daily life it has a 12 by 15 inch screen and right now it uh, increase the 70 20 inches and more so it is the basic by default and the fixed computer each is a 12 15 inches but right now it will be increase what i am saying the never crack the lcd monitor screen with the sharp like pencil pen if you doing that then it will be crushed now see the another output device printer you can see here the monitor display one picture and the printer also display a picture so we can print this picture by using the printer from where computer from where computer we are doing this in the computer and we are printing by this printer printing by this printer so printer is the another output device what the printer is the another output device see here the cps character per second lpm line per minute and the last one ppm pages per minute these are the three different type that we print in the paper character line and pages per minute now see the type of the printer type of the printer we have a different different type but mostly we use the three main type of printer that we see here the first dot matrix printer second inject printer and the third one laser printer now see the dot matrix printer it it look like a typewriter also because they print in a dot form dot form we have a just ink and we have to pinch it so the dot matrix printer is the oldest one printer and the it used but the quality of printer is not good because it's a old one now inject printer you can see here the color picture are printing from the inject printer we use for a ink what we use here ink we have to just assign the ink and the printer will be print you can see this picture also now the laser printer this is the latest printer and the quality of this printer is a high but it's also a costly what i am saying it also a costly we use is a here laser to print on the paper color or a black and white both type now a day we use is this laser printer in the shop xerox shops right in the offices we uses this laser printer so these are the type of the printer 
we learn in this the because why we learn this because the printer is also a output device what the printer is also output device so the input device is is a keyboard and the mouse and output device is are printer and monitor now see the dot matrix uses the continuously stationary the regular pages the inject and the laser printers usually a4 size paper are used right and dots per square each is it are the printing type on the paper dot per square each is so these are the input devices and output devices that we learn in the previous lecture but we see here because we have to done this ex, uh, done in this lecture exercise so we have just remind this the output devices and the input devices right so input devices and output devices you can learn clearly right now see the next one filling the blanks that we also see in the previous lecture the main functions of computer are input processing and output these are the three main functions of computer the keyboard and the mouse are input devices what i am writing is the keyboard and the mouse are the input devices the cpu is the processing devices what i am writing here the cpu is the processing devices a monitor and printer are output devices you have to remember this because in this lecture we have done another exercise the dash mouse pointing device the dash mouse pointing device the keyboard is used to enter the data into a computer what the keyboard is used to enter the data into a computer right the dash display the output what the monitor display the output so this filling the blanks we just learn in the previous lecture the main functions input processing and output the keyboard and mouse is the input devices cpu is the processing devices monitor and printer are output devices and the mouse is a pointing device right we call the mouse the pointing device and the keyboard is used to enter the data into a computer for example my name so we using the alphabetic keys from the keyboard so we call that keyboard is used to enter the data into a computer and what the last one the monitor display the output you know that the monitor display the output now see the next one exercise we have to do in this lesson name the following with the help of the word given in the bracket what we have to do use this bracket it bracket and just choose the answer and fill in the blanks the first question is what two input devices what two input devices the first whose input device is first monitor printer keyboard mouse input processing output which one is the input device keyboard right which one the keyboard keyboard is the input device why we call them input device because we used keyboard to enter the data into a computer for example my name so we pressing the s h w e t a from the keyboard so we call them input devices because we uses this keys from keyboard to enter into a computer right now see the another input devices which one from this given bracket monitor printer keyboard mouse sorry keyboard is also done the another one which mouse input processing and output which one a mouse which one a mouse we call the mouse input devices right mouse input devices so these two are the main input devices in a our computer first one is keyboard and second one is mouse with the help of why we call the mouse is input devices because we are drawing using the mouse right we are drawing 
using the mouse and we also use mouse for some selected item yes we have to copy and paste so we use is a mouse right so mouse is a another input devices now see the second one two output devices what we have to do name the following with the help of the word given in the bracket the two output devices the option is given here monitor printer keyboard mouse input processing output so which one is the output devices we have to two output devices here the first which one is the output device from this given bracket which one monitor what i am writing here m o n i t o r monitor because the monitor display our output on the screen so we call the monitor is an output device we call that monitor is an output device now another one which one is called the output device we can see in this previous lecture also input devices and output devices and also in this lecture we can remind again so which one is the output device from the given option which one printer which one a printer so monitor and a printer are the two output devices the main output devices right the monitor and a printer we have another output devices also but in our computer we use is these two main output devices which one the another output devices we can see we have so many right and input devices also jo so many joystick stylus webcam right so these all are the input devices and output devices now see the fourth name the following with the help of the word given in the brackets two devices connected to the cpu box with the cable two devices connected to cpu box with the cable so which two devices is connected to the cpu box which two devices choose any one from these brackets those who are connected with the cpu box input processing and output it is not connected to cpu box so so mouse keyboard printer and the monitor these four are the part of the computer right these are the part of the computer and we can see this in the computer lab also right the monitor printer keyboard mouse this all component part of the computer that are connected to the cable wire with the cpu right with the cpu box so these four are the answer right so these four are the answer monitor printer keyboard mouse yes so i am just writing here first mouse because i like mouse small device right and it also look like a mouse so the mouse is the answer second which one i am writing here keyboard this is a my favorite so i am put here you have to just whatever you want to write the from the monitor printer keyboard and mouse these four answer are correct so you have to put in this blanks so we learn that the input devices output devices functions of computer devices that are connected with the cpu cable right yes so now move to the next exercise match the following what match the following we have a a part here left side and a b part here b side so we have to join the answer the correct answer right the first display output prints output pointing device letter keys and the fifth one is processing input this is our a uh, first part a part now b part keyboard cpu printer monitor and the mouse 
these are the B part. So we have to match A part with the B part with the correct answer, not anywhere with the correct answer. So let's start. First is display output. What display output? Which means what? Which devices are display the output? Which devices are display the output? Keyboard, CPU, printer, monitor or mouse? Which one? The first question is here display the output. We have to choose this B part from the anyone whose answer is correct. Which one is the correct answer? Monitor. Which one? A monitor. Monitor display output. We see in this lecture the input devices, output devices. Monitor is called output devices, right? Because they display output. So we match the monitor with the display output. Now, second question. Prints the output. Print the output. See here the difference between a display and print. Huh? Display means which means what? Just display on the screen. Monitor screen. Prints output. Which means what is the answer? Prints output. Select from here B part. Keyboard, CPU, printer and the mouse remaining 4. What is the answer? Printer. Right? So we match it with the printer because printer prints output on a paper right so the correct answer is printer the printer prints output because we are seeing in the hard copy paper right the paper that is our hard copy which is given by this printer so we call that printer is prints the output and printer is also one kind of output device right so now move to the third one, pointing device, pointing device. So which device we call the pointing device, keyboard, CPU or mouse, which one from this keyboard, CPU or mouse, keyboard is used to enter a data, right, CPU is the process. So, mouse is remaining. So, we call that mouse is a pointing device. You can see the white arrow on the monitor screen. They are moving on the monitor screen. Why we they are moving? Because we are moved from the mouse. So, some answer is the mouse. Mouse is a pointing device. Right? The mouse is a pointing device. So, we match it mouse with the pointing device. Correct? Now, the fourth one here. The fourth one, letter key. So, letter key, CPU or a keyboard. Which one is the correct answer? CPU or keyboard? Which one? Keyboard, right? Because keyboard have a letter key. CPU has no keys. Keyboard has so many keys. Letter key, numbers key, special symbols, special keys. So, the letter key, the correct answer is Keyboard. So, we match it with the keyboard because the keyboard have a letter key. And the last remaining is the process is input, the CPU because CPU are performing the input, processing the input. So, CPU called the processing device and so we match it with the process input with the CPU because the CPU is doing the work so this the match the following is from your computer textbook this is your exercise also we are performing this lecture so you can understand your exercise clearly so you have to write in your notebook also if you are seeing this video you have to just write in your notebook with your pen pencil so this is our today's lecture your lesson number two, the power functions of a computer and this is your exercise from your computer textbook that we learned today. FB, name the following, match the following, input device, output device, right? So, now today's lecture is our over. You have to remember this lecture, input devices, output devices, functions of a computer, right? So, bye everyone, take care of yourselves. Stay home and stay safe and also doing your do your homework and give your test.